enter the diagnostic mode, the washer must be in the standby mode with all the indicator lights off. If the washer is not in standby mode when you attempt a diagnostic test, you will hear this invalid button chime. To enter the standby mode, press the cancel button and make sure that all the indicator lights are off. Select any one button on the washer's control console except for power start or the pause cancel button and hold that button for three seconds. Release for three seconds. Hold for three. Release for three. Then press and hold until all the console's indicator lights come on and 88 is displayed. After three more seconds, any stored error codes will be displayed. At this point, you can cycle through the stored error codes by pressing the same button that you used to start the diagnostics mode. If you are having problems getting the diagnostics mode to work, try a different button or make sure that you're not rushing the three second count. Once all the stored error codes have been shown, 88 will again be displayed. If no buttons are pressed for another three seconds, the automatic diagnostic cycle will begin. More help on the Whirlpool Cabrio, Maytag Bravo, and Kenmore Oasis washing machines is available at appliancesystem.com. Thanks for watching.